That is so cool. Many people know him as a professional wrestler with the ring name uh, Brodus Clay, the Funkasaurus. Did I get that right? Yeah, you did get that right. And kudos to you, man. That's footage from a TV series called Love about six years ago, maybe? Maybe longer, yep. Tyrus, I didn't even introduce you yet. You others may know, know who him, I am. Others know him <laughs> as a bodyguard to celebrities like Snoop Dogg. But now, most of you know him because of his role here at Fox News as Tyrus. Yeah, I literally need no introduction anymore. But uh, your kind words are great. In D.C., that can really call George Santos a liar without being a hypocrite. What is a liar, Greg? You know, I feel like that's a gross mischaracterization <laughs> yes. of George. You know, I, George is more of an improv artist. Okay. <laughs> he goes in a room, give me a word, mm -hmm. give me a place. Yes. <laughs> and let's have some fun. <laughs> uh, he gained a big following from his first uh, bestseller about his remarkable life. Now he finds himself on stage doing stand-up when he's not busy saving the Greg Gutfeld show uh, <laughs> and making it number one. He's out with a new certain-to-be bestseller, bestseller already called Nuff yeah. Said, offering his take on the issues that matter most to Americans while still weaving in some of his unique background. Tyrus, welcome. Congratulations. I read the whole thing one sitting. On, actually, you. one standing on the elliptical. Right on the elliptical. It. And good for you, because you're staying fit. As and then you know in the book, uh, my chapter about Fox Family, I talk about you a little bit. And I know it's I'm honored, rare seriously. for you to get compliments these days, Never especially on the Gutfeld show, which we're still trying to figure out why all those shots are still being fired at you. But um, you're one of the guys who, since I've been here, uh, you extended the branch, and I was happy to send in a learning tree. And uh, I believe I, in this book, I talk about you, the backbone of Fox, because if you need someone, whether it's any day of the week, any time or night, you and your little backpack will be there. So. Right. It's not a little backpack. It's a full body backpack. It's <laughs> little to you. <laughs> it's little to me. Because you're 6'8". 6'9"? 6'8". 6'8". You're, you're, you're right. So here's a, uh, the dedication, I think, tells a lot about why you got to get the book. You say, I dedicate this book to pain, loss, and failure, the three greatest teachers in life. You can't win without them. You've experienced that all really before the age of 18. Right, but it, we don't celebrate it enough. And I think one of the biggest problems that we're seeing, especially with parenting in this country, in, is everyone's trying to avoid the bumps and bruises and scrapes of life and failures by not participating. So it, you have to give homage because I couldn't be here where I'm at today if I didn't get fired, released, cut, kicked out. Like all the bad things that, that, that helps build your character. So when I was thinking about who to dedicate it to, I thought about dedicating it to the dark parts of my life because those were the biggest teachers in life. Right. And, and anyone who's been anywhere, it's never been just a smooth sailing. Like I just saw my goal and I just went and got it, you know, and uh, I had to get a lot of roads and I, to fill my path and, and I wouldn't be as well-rounded as it was if I had not been fired so much and let go or let down or betrayed and all the other things that happened to us. Alone. Leaving your house, yep. uh, leaving a team, getting cut from the WWE, yep. going back to the WWE, all these things that happened, being told really, uh, your friend invites you over to sleep over after a while. You got to go. The big guy's got to go. Yep. Uh, here's an excerpt from your book. In fact, you should read it because you did the book on tape. You always, this is why I bring my glasses. If we're going to make any progress as a society, we need to be willing to have an uncomfortable conversation. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to have different opinions. But let's always strive to listen to each other. No one does this anymore. No. And not even that. They don't even want to hear it. And, um, you know, and it goes on to say, that's just what makes this country great. That's what makes us human. Like, we have to stop hating somebody because they vote differently because we're told there's something wrong with them. Like, there's this, my, like, uh, your holiday, were you arguing with anyone? And I'm sure everyone in your family doesn't vote the same as you. Because right. I didn't have that issue in my family. Like, we were just happy to be around each other. And we argued about other things, like who gets the last drumstick. And, of course, the rule is me. So I don't know why my right. children thought to and that's, uh, betray Why me. would anyone wrestle with you about that? I would just ask Dad, and we work our way backwards. There's another study that came out that really is part of your story. Sports means a lot. Coaching yep. means a lot. Coaching you means everything. You were a teacher. So kids today are quitting sports in droves. Why? The study says body image issues. They don't think they look the part. Social media, what if I'm not good? Gender bias and coaching styles. You, your reaction to that? See, I, I disagree with that. I think it's parenting. I think it all goes back to home because quitting is a top behavior. And 
not allowing your kids to go. Like, for example, I sat the bench in the beginning of my football career. I sat the bench in the beginning of my baseball career, basketball career. Basketball career, I was, used to get laughed at because I didn't quite understand how it was to dunk. I was tall enough to dunk, but I remember running down the court, stopping, then jumping, and just missing everything and having my friends laugh at me. I didn't go home. I kept working at it, and then one day I threw down a dunk, and I remember my buddy still wouldn't put me over. He said, that was a Vladi Divac dunk. In the time of Michael Jordan, that's a backhanded compliment. But then it was two-hand tomahawks after that. But it was the failure. Failures. And what's happening with our parents is, is, is these bulldozer parents is we're creating these false sense of, of accomplishments and then they get in the mix and their kids don't stack up it. and they rather blame the coach or the teacher or the school. Like no one, uh, when you're failing at something, you never look at, we're not looking at what can I do better? Do I need to spend some time with my son helping him hit? Do, and if I can't, do I have the means of getting him a batting coach? Or tell him, we don't quit in our family. And guess what? Being on the bench and playing behind somebody means you got an opportunity every day to compete and get better. And that's the message, I, I think. I always thought there was glory and effort. It was yes. underappreciated. If you give your all and you don't get the result, your glory is delayed for now, not denied. I want to end up, you real quick, 30 seconds, bullying. Hotter today because of social media. Well, you can't you get escape picked it. on. You can't escape it. You can't, like especially for little, especially for girls in this country. Boys are still. We do it at the school grounds, and then we go home, walk in our door. We pretty much get a break. But the girl stuff doesn't end. Like for example, if a girl's wearing an outfit and she takes a picture and posts it, and then the mean girls and kids at school says she looks stupid, and they make fun of her at school. Then she goes home, and then she sees all the comments on her Facebook and stuff. Like it just never ends, and that's the, what's different today. And we're no longer telling. We've got this. If you ask kids, well, what happens to people who tell? You'll still hear that snitches get stitches. And that's what criminals say. Like, we've gotten away. That's a cliche from a, from a movie. Like, we need to get back to parenting, telling, and going after the bully because bullies don't bully when they get right. fired back. And this way, you're going to love this book. It's a mixture of advice and where your uh, beliefs come from, your personal story, and then why everyone should watch your career develop here at Fox. Yep. Great to see you. Thank you, as right. always, B. And I had that same outfit on. I quickly changed at the last minute when I realized... We had that we confrontation because exactly we didn't want to right. Jessica Tarlow, Judge yeah. Janine issue. We so. both can't have our tattoos out. No, we can't. All right. Meanwhile, be sure to follow One Nation on social media. Uh, Tyrus does. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. How do you do that? At Kilmead. It's going to be enjoyable. So you always know what's coming up. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.